my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who's found himself targeted, given more gallons, made very sick, rapidly aging, neurological problems, body problems, parasitic infections. The life is being sucked out of me, and I'm at a loss as to what to do about it. And when I go to doctors, I have a difficult time getting them to take me seriously enough to do anything. Let alone, you know, even relieve my symptoms, let alone figure out the root cause of this. And, you know, I'm aging rapidly and I'm experiencing paralysis and waking up uh, unable to move, feeling as though all of the medications that their little protein molecules in my neurotransmitter receptors have been yanked out, shaking in the worst pain I've ever felt. It's a horrible, deep, it's like a dull, aching pain that's been turned to a level when it's only supposed to go to 10. And it hurts so much, and you can't move, I can't move, and it's terrifying. eyesight is changing, you know, not only do I see light differently, I see light in its various frequencies in the space between the light source and the things that light is reflected off of. So either there's things in the space that I'm in that are reflecting the light or in my eyes between, or, you know, in my eyes doing something to the light, forcing it through space, constricting the wavelength or, or refracting something. Anyway, the memory loss, the weakness, the vomiting, the skin problems, the feelings of these, you know, the terrible itching. The, the, I truly believe that there's some type of, of parasitic worm, um, nematode, helmet, infection. There's one other word I can't think of. Two words. But, um, you know, the, uh, and I don't have any money to do anything. You know, I can't get any remedies or cures. I can't reading something about um, how to diagnose for a particular river blindness uh, infection, which is some small worms that create nodules in your skin. The adult worms live there, and this is a disease you can have for many, many years, asymptomatic. The baby worms that are released uh, in the hundreds a night, I think a day or something, I'm going to forget in the deep venous parts in the daytime where you're awake and when you're asleep they come up to the surface to the capillaries and uh, near the skin in the hopes of being bitten by a vector a mosquito or something a bed bug so they can continue their life cycle and get another host um, and uh, I forgot now see I, I I'm really You know, I'm, I'm making silver water, but then for some reason now all of a sudden none of my power supplies are working. It's very strange. And the problem that I'm having the most with, besides all these physical and mental problems, is the inability to do anything. It's like I'm stuck. You know, I can get up, I can go, and I can go to my get my medicine from my doctor, come home, I can go to the supermarket and buy some food, 
but it takes me like hours to buy food because I don't know what to buy. Uh, you know, it's like I can spend hours reading the labels trying to figure out what's, you know. I say to myself, okay, today I'm going to do this. I'm going to apply for disability online. And then I never do it. It's like I spend all the time either preparing to do it or dealing with, you know, food or, or, or whatever, sitting there staring at things. And, you know, um, and all the while, well, this horrible is just going on in my life. That's just me, I'm not even talking about the torture that, that Patriot is going through. You know, 24-7 B2K abuse. And watching me and herself being sick, you know, it's, it's horrific. And so all the while I'm looking for some way to help myself. And someone, professional, to help me help myself. Or anyone to enable me to help myself. And in the past, people have been so kind and generous and good, and I appreciate all your your support and everything, prayers and comments and you know. Uh, but uh, see, I forgot what I was saying. I'm trying to find something good out of all this because. I don't wish to become this angry, horrible person, you know, I, I really don't, and, and whenever I'm sick I'm always thinking about how horrible it is, not just for me, but for all the people, I mean, it's like this huge weight of uh, uh, trying to accept things, you know, and trying to talk myself into believing that this must be God's plan for me because I am me and nobody else can be me better than I can and you know it's this unique experiential thing for some reason and you know it's bigger than me it's so there must be some reason that this is in my perspective and you know, it's very difficult to accept so much pain and suffering and helplessness and hopelessness and all the negative things, but at the same time it's made the little things like water is such a glorious gift. It's, it's, you know, I'm thirsty all the time. I'm hot all the time. I'm sweating. When I wipe my face and I smell the thrown this stuff at it, hasn't seemed to do much. Tea tree oil did something. It also melts plastic, but hey. Um, anyway, I'm digressing. Thank you for watching and caring. We'll see what happens. I'm just wishing somehow. for these uh, river blindness creatures when you take the skin snips you take six seven skin snips a day for over the course of a week or so because they're hard to find I guess unless you're completely covered in them and you put it in water salt water that's the same salinity as the body fluids and after 24 hours at room temperature or whatever temperature not too cold they'll come out of the skin because the fluid is the same and the, I don't know so that's the way, and then you put it under the microscope. So maybe soaking in the barrels of salt helps because it gets these little tiny things to come out of you. 
just a thought. I don't know. I was reading this one girl's website about her journey through her ailments, and she was very lucky to have the ability to find somebody who was like a you know, super practitioner, one of these people that checks your body chemistry and your blood smear and your looks at live blood and, and you know, measures everything and knows what, what amino acids you need and the whole thing. I don't even know what these people are called, but... You know, she went through this horrific journey and seemed to recover somewhat, but anyway, thanks for watching. The, the, the orange X over my shoulder means that this building has been marked by the fire department as um, nobody living in it and no floors. So be careful if it's on fire, don't go rushing in to save somebody. Um, it's boarded up, it's going to be sold or something. So.